All right, everyone, welcome to this video installation guide of the Path of Incarnate mod list for Open Morrowind. So, on screen, I will put the requirements for this mod list. Uh, I've already went ahead and downloaded them. They're all here. All the links will be in the description to get all these requirements. So you need Wabajack, you need VC++, the X64 version. You need Open Morrowind, the latest release, release candidate. At the time of making this video, this is RC6. <clears throat> so this is fully working with the current model is, so grab RC6, and then you're going to need either the Pat of Incarnate Wabajack file, or if the mod list has been updated, you can grab it directly from the Wabajack gallery. So the first thing you want to do is install a clean version of Morin. So clean version of Morrowind, you just go ahead and install it. You can verify your game files if you already have it installed. So make sure all the files are the original ones. You launch the game at least once. So menu is going to open. You can fill out the options and all that if you want. I will just go ahead and click play. So it generates all the files we need. It's just going to open real quick and then we're going to close it. As soon as we reach the main menu, so main menu reached, we just go ahead and quit. There you go. Now that this is done, what you're going to go ahead and do is install OpenMW, so Open Morrowind. You're going to go and double click the launcher and install it to a random directory that you want. Don't put it in program files, okay? Make sure it's not in the program files folder. You can put it anywhere else, but just make sure it's not in the program files, okay? Then once it's installed, there you go. So this should look like it. This should be your installation. You will have all these files installed in a folder. You're gonna go ahead and launch the Open MW Wizard. Okay, you launch that. Or you can launch directly the launcher and it will launch that. You launch the wizard. You can go and select existing installation. Put your data files folder from your Morrowind, from your original Morrowind. Okay. Click next, next, and it's gonna import all the settings <clears throat> and all the the font setup and all that from from your original Morrowind. So you do that and then you do finish and that's it. You've installed Open Morrowind. So if you use the launcher here, it should launch. Sometimes this appears, it says appears to have frozen. Just wait a little bit and it should open. It's because I have all the, the mod lists loaded. So it takes a while to load and the launcher thinks the, the launcher Things that it crashed, but it didn't. So once you open this, obviously you won't have all this mod list. This is Pat of the Incarnate. It's the whole mod list here. So you can set up your your stuff. You can cap your frame rate, set your resolution, all that. Uh, in settings here, I would advise to not touch anything other than visuals and maybe like all the visuals and audio interface. You can scale it up from here all that <clears throat> so just gameplay don't touch anything there because you might break some mods uh you can cap your fps to 60 for more stability uh the game is recommended to play at 60 fps it is a pretty old game so anything over 60 fps might render everything a bit funky anyway so open morrowind is installed we can go ahead and close this. Now we're going to have to download the actual mod list, which is the longest part of the process. Okay. So first you're going to put wabajack.exe in a folder somewhere. Don't leave it in your downloads folder because it's going to create a bunch of files. Okay. 
and we're just going to launch it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and launch uh, Wubbajack. <clears throat> okay, there you go. So I'm launching Wubbajack. You see it checked for update. <clears throat> it usually takes a while to open on the first time. There you go. Now it's open. Perfect. So here, the first thing you're going to go and check is if the mod list is in the gallery. So browse list, you're going to put uh, Morrowin in here. You have to uncheck non-featured. You have to check non-featured, I mean. You go to Morrowin, and then you look for Pet of the Incarnate. You see it's unavailable. That means it's still in beta, so uh, it's not going to be av available to download it from here. You see you can't download it at all, so that's going to be an issue. So the first thing you do, if it's, if this is unavailable, you go in the Boneyards Creation Discord, okay? So you go in their Discord right here, and then you check the pins, and the mod list should be linked here. See? It is linked right there, linked to the Wabajack file, and you also have the install guide, the text version. So you grab that file. That's what I did. I grabbed the file right there. And we're going to use it to install the mod list. So you're going to go ahead and click install from disk on the top right corner. Grab your Wabajack file. So we're going to go downloads Wabajack file. There you go. And then you're going to choose an installation location. Again, don't install this mod list into the program files folders or any of the the basic folders like the base default folders from uh, Windows. You want to install this on an SSD, uh, most likely. Uh, there you go. It will automatically put the downloads folder. You click install, and you just wait for the process to finish. Okay, so you you click install, and you just wait for it to finish. If you get installation failed, uh, because it's missing downloads, missing manual downloads, you will have to go and download the files that uh, that you're missing out. So you just click the links that's going to appear and you just download the manual missing files. You can also go into the Boneyard Creations Discord to ask for help on where to get those files if you don't know where to get them. But usually the links will just be displayed on the page and you just click them and that's it. So click install and wait till it finishes. All right, we're going to come back after this is done. All right, so the installation is finished. This is my folder where all the downloads are. There you go. All the downloads are here. The game is installed. It is also installed Mod Organizer 2, which we're going to use uh, to launch the mod list. So we're just going to go ahead and launch uh, Mod Organizer 2. It's going to open. Might take a while because there's a lot of mods to load. There you go. We have a little splash screen and the game is loaded. Um, right now I'm using the RC4 better version. So I have a little bit more mods. So don't adjust your mods based on these. These are not the right mods. I also have a bunch of custom mods installed. So don't base your your installation off of this. But this is the mod list with a few tweaks that I've added. The first thing you want to do to launch the game is go here and click edit. OK, the little edit dot dot dot. Click it. And you're going to go ahead and put the path to openmw.exe that you installed earlier at the beginning of the video to this. And then for the openmw launcher, you're going to do the same thing. So you have to put your binaries to the right direction. Otherwise, the game just won't launch. OK, after that, you can you can run the launcher. And again, you can set up your stuff. It might do that again. Like I said, it does that quite often. Don't worry about it. So you have to set up your stuff. You can do whatever you want. Set up all your display settings. You know, so frame rate, all of that, visuals. Um, and
anyway, so you set up all your stuff. <clears throat> and then you don't launch the game through this. You're going to go and launch it through the Open MW EXE directly. Okay. So you just go ahead and launch the game. And that's it. You're free to play. There's nothing to do. There's no, you don't have to modify or uh, change anything in the mod list. It's plug and play, basically, out of the box. Uh, if you're using the latest RC3 version of Potty, which is the, the one currently available in beta as, as the time of making that video, you might have to move uh, the Delta Merge plugin right there at the bottom of the mod list, at the bottom of the list here, because there, there might be another one uh, loaded after, which is a little mistake in the load order, but... You can just move this one, Delta Merge. This should always be loaded last all the time, at all time. So always load this one last, and you just launch the game, and it's it should be ready to play. Let's launch it. Let's see. All right, so the game is loading. There you go. <clears throat> I already have a save game, so I'm just going to go and load it. And I can show you what the game actually looks like with all the mods installed. This is a little save I made before the video. There you go. I'm in game now. Oh, a little jitter lag. So this is the Path of Incarnate mod list. It looks really good with all the textures, all the shaders. Uh, I have my view distance at the maximum right now. And you can see I'm still running a good, decent 60 FPS here. There you go. You can see my frame rate in the little corner to the left. It's a consistent 60 fps 59 60 59 60 so little drops here and there when i'm looking in certain directions but other than that the game is looking great and everything is ready to play you can obviously uh, tone down the game a little bit if you have a slower machine so i'm gonna make a, another video with uh, performance settings that you can use in case your game is lagging a little bit. Oh, I think my OBS bug there, but it's fine. Oh, it bugged because of this, because of goddamn Epic Games. So yeah, I'm going to make a video of uh, the settings you can tweak for this mod list to make sure that it runs smoothly on your machine. So if you have any performance issues or anything so yeah that's about it so i'm gonna make this other video for the performance settings but there you go pretty much out of the box you can just plug and play i would say this is by far the the best uh morrowind experience i've had in years i've been playing this game for years and obviously tried different mod lists and all that uh but this is definitely like the most up-to-date one with open morrowind definitely so all right if you have any questions just go to the boneyard creations discord and ask your questions there there's a channel for help there's a channel for uh bug report there's also a channel for suggestions if you have any suggestions of mods you want to add to the list so just go there and ping uh in that channel just asking that in those channels and you should have some help anyway have fun